In my small studio here, which is about 160 square feet, I do ceramics, a lot of wood. Sometimes I, can't, I work in plaster, which goes along with the ceramics because everything I do is slip cast. And from that, sometimes I cast things in concrete as well that are sculptural. Today, we're going to make what I call the trunk Ziggy lamp. I usually start with the bottom piece because I just know that that part is four inches diameter. And I'll lay out a bunch of wood pieces that are the bases of my lamps and do the routing. I do most of that in here, and that's a very loud tool, and it sort of just drives me crazy. But the wire's gotta go somewhere. I lay out all of those circles on various pieces of poplar. On the drill press in this studio, I drill out the holes in the center for the um, pipe that goes through the middle for the wiring. There's a lot of stacking and unstacking and getting a little bit of variation. I throw in some thinner pieces that are only a half inch. I mean, most wood, when you buy planks of wood, it's three quarters of an inch. I just go with that. Um, and then some are planed down to a half inch so that there's a little bit of uh, variation going through the lamps. It gets bigger, 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 bigger circles up until about the eighth circle. Um, and then smaller, 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 smaller. After the pieces are stacked and glued and clamped down into a, you know, sandwiched piece. After that, they're polyurethaned or painted white. And then at a different point in the making, I also make the ceramic component. Um, that is done using uh, a mold that I've made and those pieces are slip cast and glazed in various colors that I've been working on. At the moment, uh, I'm making cylinders that again, just sort of cover up the, the hardware, the socket that's in there. And then the top wood circle has another circle in it so that the ceramic piece can sit inside of that. So they're really all about variation with a, a nice simple shape very nice proportions, um, but some variation in the scale and the pattern of the wood. I just love working with my hands. It's kind of an endless uh, learning process for me. I guess I've always been a maker and it, it, it changes. I just wanna keep learning new things when I feel like, oh, maybe this needs pattern. It's like, okay, should I? You know, start dyeing fabric and learning textiles? Probably not. Basket weaving, who knows? Um, I just like to, you know, try as many things as possible. 